This is Crystal with Whole New Perspective. I received a call earlier today from someone that works at a large university and they were telling me that they their system had been hacked. Now they're not supposed to talk about it, so I can't tell you what the university is, but you may hear about it later. They told me that on Monday, something just seemed a little suspicious, but then today the system went down and they realized early on that it had been hacked and so they shut down the system. Of course, all the professors and staff, they were, everybody was sent home. There's nothing that they, they can do. And they believe that people received an email and someone clicked on that email and that link led to the, the cyber attackers and, and yes they are asking for ransom and it, it appears that it is from one of the countries that's involved in, in this war right now but they are not able to really talk about it but I wanted to talk about that because cyber attacks are getting more and more prevalent a couple years ago, my bank was attacked and we were not able to do any online banking or go through any drive-throughs. Any banking that you did, you had to go into, into the office to do that, into the, the branch. And so we weren't able to pay bills, so many things. It was like that for over a week. So I learned a little bit then of things that I need to do. So I want, one of the things I do, I don't get a bank statement coming to my house, but I do like to go on and I print my balance on a regular basis. So that's one thing that you should probably do is to know how much money you have in your bank accounts in case you experience this. Now, at my job, my company send out phishing emails on a regular basis and they track it and they would let you know if you clicked on one of those links that could potentially be dangerous for your company. And I also have quite a bit of training on cybersecurity. So I, I am very cautious when it comes to receiving emails. Now there's a YouTuber that was recently hacked as well and I think they stole their account. I also have a cousin whose YouTube account was hacked as well. So it's very important to do all you can to keep your information secure. You know, there are so many ways that people can get information from you from answering, you know, your favorite dog, your favorite pet, your favorite food, your last name, your mother's maiden name, all of these sorts of things. Sometimes as YouTubers, we put that information out, our birth dates, and that's all it takes for hackers to get that information. So just be careful with information that, you, that you're sharing. Be careful with links that you're clicking on know that it is a secure link. Make sure that you keep your phone's security. Make sure that you keep everything updated and that should, should be able to help you somewhat. Make sure you're changing your passwords. That's one of the things that my company has done here recently is they are ensuring that we have very secure passwords. We can't have passwords that, have, that are names, you know, and for me, one of the things I do is I have a second authorization or verification to my account so that once I log in, I'm still going to have to go to my phone or email or something else, and I'm going to have to put in a code. And that just makes me feel more secure when it comes to safeguarding my account. And so I just wanted to come out and share that information. And I'll also say that one of the things that 
this person told me is that they're starting to experience rolling blackouts in their area and they've never had any type of problems with power outages at all. And so they are experiencing rolling blackouts. So guys, now is the time to make sure that you are prepared as possible. Get your food, make sure you have water. Start getting as much as you can. You see the price of gas is just gonna continue to go up. I wouldn't say to store gas unless you know exactly what you're doing because you know you don't want to have yourself in a situation where you have a combustible garage or something like that if you don't know how you how to store gasoline. So I just want to say be mindful about that. We know what happened or we saw that uh, when we had the pipeline situation and people were trying to get gasoline and bags and everything else that they could get it in. So just be careful with that guys and watch yourself out there. Be safe as you can be. There are so many things going on right now, but just be prepared, prepared, prepared so that you don't find yourself in those situations where you're having to run out and get things or you find yourself in a situation where you have been hacked. Now, make sure that you have some cash on hand in case you do have a situation where your bank is hacked. So make sure you have some cash on hand. Now right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I just want you to be as prepared as possible.